Good day, everyone. Merry meet. My name is Glennis, and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. I want to welcome you to my channel. Uh, I have had a recent flurry of new subscribers, and I want to welcome you so, so much. And of course, to everyone that has hung with me this past year, it has been just absolutely wonderful. You've made me feel so welcome and so appreciated, and I appreciate you guys, too. Um, before I start with the haul, as you can see, gosh, I, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I wanted to give you guys just a, a wee bit of maybe a little bit of an update. Uh, and again, it's no, nothing earth shattering or anything like that. But um, I think, I think I have a new member of the family. Uh, as I'm sure that you guys may know or may already not. Um, I seem to have a a beacon, a beacon for lost stray animals. They just, you know, I take every precaution necessary. All of the wet food cans that I have in the house before I even put them in the trash, I wash them out. Yes, I'm that anal. And I wash them out. And uh, my the familial that I have now, Fanny, and her litter box here, it it dumps into one drawer and that's emptied once a week out into the trash. So there's, so it's not like there's a marking territory here, but they seem to find me. Well, I had one wind up on my doorstep, literally at my back door. I have a storm door here and I had my door open and he or she, I think it's a she, uh, literally came up to my back door going, please, please, please help me. <laughs> and what are you going to do? Right? So I, I took one of those big storage tubs. I cut out on both ends and, you know, an entrance and an exit if she ever needed to get in and out. And I put in, I have actually two heated pet beds here from past pets. And they stay, they won't overheat an animal. They, I think they stay at a believe the temperature is 89 or 92, something like that. Um, and so there's a, a little bit of warmth there for her. And I put it inside and I said, well, that may not be enough. <laughs> and so I took a heating pad and I laid it on the other side. Granted, this, let's see, I'm out of frame here. Uh, you know, it's like, yay, big, you know. So I put the heating pad over here and the bed part, the soft, softer part there. And so she's been basically staying out of the rain, thankfully, and as warm as I can keep her. Now, I haven't put a, a thermometer out there to check to know what her temperature is in her little, I call it her hovel. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I actually took a photo of her, and I'll try to make a, make it the thumbnail of this video. And, and if i not successful, please forgive me but she's a very, very petite. Now, not she's not a kitten. I think she's probably one or two, something like that. I tried, I actually borrowed a trap, a live trap from the Cat Coalition of Nashville, which I want to give them a shout out. Thank you. And I had it here for two weeks and I could not lure her in there because I was going to trap her, take her to the Cat Coalition and have her fixed and her shots and whatever else that she needs. Um, she, I mean, she could have been fixed by now. I have no idea, but she seems to be a young cat. She's solid gray with the biggest green eyes you've ever seen. Um, and she she will let me pet her. She, she will let me do that. Now I tried tonight, the rain I think has finally ended here in Nashville. And she finally, the, over the last you know few days, she's allowed me to pick her up. Well, yesterday afternoon, I tried to pick her up and just to bring her inside to, you know, hey, you know, spend a little bit of time and see what it's all about. And she was having none of it. Well, tonight, with the weather changing here, I think our low tonight is, I think, 15 or 19. So I think what I'm going to have to do this afternoon um, I already have the guest room set up for her, and I think what I'm going to have to do is go outside and get a towel and, you know, pet her and get, you know, 
and then just put the towel over the top of her and then bring her in and, and, and take her to the guest room as quickly as possible without just totally destroying me. But um, we'll see how that goes. But no matter what, if I stay in this house or when I move to the hollow, if she is still here, she's going right with me. So you guys don't ever need to worry about that. Uh, Fannie Mae, I actually adopted Fannie Mae in the same manner. So uh, yeah, Fannie's not too keen on her and more than likely I'll have to keep them separated, but that's okay. Uh, and the other weed little bit of update, um, I actually have already started uh, my uh, Herb Week series. I, you know, alphabetical, alphabetical A to Z. Well, I got to a certain herb. I just, I'm just telling you guys, so you will forgive me ahead of time and you'll know what's happening ahead of time when you hit the video. I, there was a specific herb, I believe this is week four or five, and it is a spell for homesickness, um, or if you're missing a loved one, well, my mistake was I chose my grandmother and I'm not going to get into it because I can already feel myself getting emotional, but let's just say it was a little bit emotional. I got really quiet. I had to cut the video short. Uh, so please forgive me. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Just please forgive me. And we'll just go on from there. But let's get to the witchy hall. I I actually saw Yvette of the Witch of of or at, I'm not sure which, I kind of forget, but the Witch of Willow Creek. And I saw her video yesterday about where she goes to, where she went to a Goodwill. And she's like, nothing's resonating with me. Nothing is, you know. And that's my problem is I go there and I go, oh, you know, I could use this for this. I know I could use that for that. And so I have a, an, an unusual <laughs> uh, bit of things here, but I can guarantee you absolutely everything that I have here is going to serve a specific purpose. And, you know, you guys already know that this is part of my mundane career. I can already go, in, when I go into a client's home, and I can already, of course, I listen to them, but I can see it. It's like a computer in, in my brain. Of course, that's what your brain essentially is, but I can virtually see the room unfold before me. New colors, new furniture, floors, accessories, the whole thing. So when I, when I buy these things, I, I think, you know, well, what in the world are you going to do with that? Well, I already know. So, um, and that's why I'll advise you guys like I advise my clients, if you're out shopping, out and about, and you see something, especially something unusual that, you know, you're drawn to, just buy it. Just, just don't ask yourself, just simply buy it. It will eventually work out all onto itself. But I saw her video and I said, oh my goodness, I went to Goodwill too. So I thought I would share some of the little things, the little things I bought. Some things are like, you know, if I went to the grocery store and bought bread, milk, something like that, or just staples of any witch. And some things are a little more unusual that I have specific purposes for. But I, w I also wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up. I don't know about the Walmarts in your area, but um, in my area, they have reduced drastically some of their incenses and candles and things like that to where when I went to my Walmart, as far as candles were concerned, like the, just the basic white and, and, of course, bigger pillar candles were just like 50 cents, something like that. Um, but they're also discounting um, their incense. And now I, you guys know I just love, love, love sandalwood. But this is 100 sticks. And I got this for $4.50, which I think is really a reasonable price because usually the smaller package of 20 is like two something. So, yeah, I think I did pretty good there. And I only got the one um, because... You know, next month, it, I may be on to something else. But then I, I saw, I don't know who it was. Oh, Rochelle. 
and she went to the dollar store. Well, I went to the dollar store and I didn't find all those nifty things that she was able to find, but I did find a couple of weird little things. And you guys know I put up trail cams at the hollow. Well, I've caught deer, a lot of deer. Of course, it's Whitetail Hollow. Um, a lot of deer, a lot of bear, um, and a lot of foxes. I mean, I'm I'm talking about virtually every night they're roaming through there. So I was at the dollar store and I found this little this little fox planter like thing. Now I know he's kind of orange and I'm not too keen on that, but I might do a little bit of glazing on here and just kind of tone him down a little bit. And then I found um, these clips. There's they're supposed to emulate succulents that I'm going to actually arrange in these kind of arrange in here. I, I can tell you, I can kill a succulent quicker than, than you, I care to admit, but yeah, so I thought he was cute and it kind of goes, I don't know where in my new house that he's going to go. I have no idea. Maybe in a bathroom. I, I don't know. Oh, Thankfully, I'll have two bathrooms. I'm in one bathroom here that's, you know, it's big enough to for you to stand there with, not with your hands out now, no, 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 <laughs> with your hands down and you can turn around and that's it. That's that's about the amount of room that I have here. So um, I'm going to have two bathrooms, yay. And uh, so that might go in there. Um, and what else I bought at the dollar store? Of course, I bought, they had, thankfully, and for some reason, the, the spells that I've been doing lately on YouTube and just simply here have been for prosperity. And as you know, some some of you guys know, I already have a client that, um, and a, someone I actually, I don't even consider a client anymore. I think they are my friends, but I have a, a I think a year long prosperity candle going from them. And um, so I bought some green candles and I'll just set those aside. And at the dollar store, I've, I've, I've already, yes, you guys, I've already started working on Beltane. And I will share my Beltane altar with you. I don't know that this is going to be a part of it or not. Um, I know you might say, well, Beltane's a little bit ways away. Yes, that's true it is. But you have to understand my mind, uh, when I work for clients and I start decorating their homes for Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, whatever, I start decorating, you know, as far as work and buying in August, September, because some want it to happen right after uh, Samhain or, and some want it to happen right after Thanksgiving, but no matter what, after Thanksgiving, I've got to be geared up and ready to install everything. So I shop way, way ahead of most people, and I start doing things ahead of most people, too. So that, I guess that's one of those habits, you know, I don't know what to say, but I found this little, little thing, and you, and I know you guys, if you've been to the dollar store, you've already seen them, and then I found these little things, this it looks like a little stack of crates with flowers. And again, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but um, I already have, and I've already bought uh, the little outhouse. Uh, and that's only because I have an outhouse at the hollow. And, and so to me, it, it's like bringing a little bit of the hollow here where I have an outhouse. But I, I saw this, and these are crates, and... Uh, when I go to the hollow next, uh, I've actually promised someone here on YouTube I would do a video dedicated, if you can imagine, dedicated to my outhouse. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, three quarters of what the outhouse is has been repurposed. The tent on the roof was the uh, tent on the roof of the old tobacco barn that I tore down to make way for the new cabin. And uh, the siding, the exterior, and the interior, because I finished the interior too. The exterior is, you know, crates, uh, pallets that I've torn apart uh, and, pe and kind of puzzled piece together. And yes, the outhouse is insulated. It is, you know, painted and I've finished the interior, uh, the ceilings, the walls, everything. So 
uh, I'm going to give you guys a, you know, a little bit of a brief tour of that. And they said, oh my gosh, you, you put an outhouse up there. Well, yeah, I mean, there's bears up there. And I, I'm, for one, I'm a very private person anyway. So, <laughs> um, And I bought this little, little gate. And again, it's, it's got, it's the cutest little thing. It's got a leaf, like a little leaf roof. But, um, and I might, and again, I might use this on my altar. I'm not really sure. Oops. I'm not quite, quite sure. It, it may show up and it may not. I'll just have to wait and see. And of course, um, yeah, I think that's, oh, and I bought a little owl. And this is just a, a pot to hang off the side of a pot. And I know he's just a cheap little thing, but I've got so many owls happening um, that I think I probably will use him somewhere on a pot. Um, and I, I believe I got these at the uh, Walmart Walmart clearance as well. And as you can see, there's other pillars here. If I can find them in a color, as far as, the, as, far as this, uh, this just, you know, for me, this is like, like I said, this is like going to the, store and buying bread and milk this is just staples for me um but I, when i did go to goodwill i found candles yes oh my goodness i never now i never never buy candles at goodwill that have already been burned but i did find a bundle of tapers again there's gold in here a couple of blues and if you're doing and there's a, a smaller darker blue here um a beeswax blue um, this one seems to be silver as well. A lot of blues and silvers and one gold in here. And you guys know you can go to the metaphysical store and find the, just the chime candles this size in there, like $1.50. So I found these was $4.99. And I get tw on Wednesdays, I get 20% off. So, you know, that's not too, too bad. Um, and it, again, with all of the prosperity spells I've been doing lately, lately, a couple of green candles. And now for some reason, my goodwill, I can go and I can find items. Now, not necessarily to, you know, craft in here, but I look at labels and I, in our goodwill, I, I'm finding Crate and Barrel, Pottery Barn, uh, William Sonoma, and I'm so I'm finding some really quality things. Um, this is Trader Joe's candles, and again, there's a couple of purple, a few bronze, and so yeah. Again, all of this stuff is going to come really super super handy. And I've also got actually a stack here. Now I bought this online. I didn't buy this at Goodwill. It's uh, wood rounds. Just like yay. Um, I really strongly considered doing that uh, on my own at the hollow. But honestly, the next time I go, which will be soon, I'm going to be so incredibly busy. <laughs> I'm honestly not going to have time to try to get a, a chainsaw out and try to I just, I just, right now, I just can't. So I think I got this, including shipping, this was $10. So I didn't really think that was too bad. And, and yes, I'm definitely going to be crafting uh, witchy with this. Um, the other thing, of course, as far as my Goodwill find is concerned, I found this candle. And upon closer inspection, you can see there's chili peppers running all through here. In which I really, really love, absolutely love this. And um, it's going to be a very good spell candle for sure. I found this box. This is a burl, burled wood box. Now, I know burl because when I had uh, the bread and roses in, uh, I had a lot of, I actually had furniture made of burl. So, yeah, it's just a simple burled wood box. It's felt lined. It's absolutely, of course, felt on the bottom too. And again, I mean, what witch wouldn't appreciate a burled wood lined box? Lovely. And of course, your your typical your jar that needs to be washed. It is dirty, dirty. 
And now I don't believe that this is real, but a birch wood, uh, you could do a, like a floral arrangement. In it. And, and again, you know, with the cabin, I'm going more of a more natural theme. So, and I found this, and I know this is wood. And again, I'm not really quite sure where or what. It has a hanger that you can hang it this way or this way. So I'm not really sure, but anything that's, you know, kind of this color and wood, I'm definitely going to incorporate into uh, the cabin. Let's see if I can just, I'm running out of room. Oh my goodness. And I found this at the dollar store. I think it's meant to be a rug, but I'm going to actually use it um, for a background here on my table. Um, for YouTube, but um, just got to... yeah, it's it's really meant to be a rug, but um, I'm going to use it as a background here. And I found this is, and I I don't have a, a I don't have a plug right here to show you guys, but this is, and I'll try to get it up a little bit closer. You can see. I mean, it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I, the night, the nightlight part wasn't with it, but I've got a, like a ton of it, and I was just wondering maybe I don't ha I don't even have a candle. I mean, I have a candle lit, but not that I could. But you can, it's just gorgeous. Um, bear in mind all of the things that I bought here at Goodwill. Like this was like two dollars, and I got twenty percent off of it. Everything that I bought was less than a dollar or two. Um, oh, yeah, I found this there as well. I'm hoping you guys can get a good look at him. And I've got plans for him. I sure do. I'm so, so pleased with finding him. He's beautiful. He's really a good, solid, solid little piece. And he has a little bit of, I haven't gotten all of the tag off, but on the bottom, he's got a little bit of red running through him. He's just really, really gorgeous. And I'm going to have to do some work on this. I found, uh, let's see if I can get it in frame here. It's just a black cabinet. I, I thought of, I was thinking, oh, I'll hang it like this and put a shelf in, decoupage the back with uh, some old label, label things. But as I looked at it, and I didn't notice it until today, when I uh, was looking at it, it's actually was meant to be hung this way. But what I'm going to do in my witchy room at the hollow, I'm going to, because I'm going to be putting up the walls myself, I'm going to, I think I'm going to be able to put this in between a couple of studs and recess this into the wall and use this. I probably will add a light up here a, a very small light to shine down, but, um, so yeah, I was really happy to have found this, and I found just a little bit of fabric, just to show you a little bit of color, and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure that I've got a tabletop that, um, I can use this for because I you guys know I'm really super messy and I found and again I'm going to be using this as a background for some of my YouTube videos with spring coming a lot of my things that I do have is in storage and the honestly like I said the thought of going through the storage facility to find this that and the other is like you know I just can't bear to 
but I found this table runner. I think you guys can see this. It's just a beautiful spring yellow, and this is embroidered. It's really, really, absolutely just beautiful. And again, it was $2.99. <laughs> it was $2.99. Um, and 20% off of that is... So I paid a little over $2 for this. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And it's one of those colors, if you're trying to, in my mundane career, I, I've actually taught uh, staging and different techniques. And I wrote a book uh, just for my training classes. And I wrote a book called, uh, I'm trying to remember the name, I staging using redesign psychology and that's my process of getting into people's minds and manipulating them on a deep subconscious level uh, so if you're trying to sell your home or trying to bring attention to your home you know if you've got a for sale sign out or whatever uh, on your stoop or, you know, somewhere, if you can integrate yellow flowers of any kind, yellow is the first color that your brain will pick up on. Very first color. So, there you go. Um, uh, but, yeah, I just, I just thought it was just absolutely lovely. And that's why I'm very successful at selling houses. <laughs> I'm very, very successful at selling houses. And I found this runner. And again, this might be part of my Beltane uh, altar. You may, so you might see it in the future. And I found this. So any kind of little divot I can put on the table here and use for YouTube to kind of give you guys a, a bit of a different background backdrop. And I think the the best, one of the best things that I found that I bought, and this isn't witchy at all, but you guys know I, you know, I travel up to the hollow. I do travel on business from time to time. I found, now this is not Vera Bradley, but it still has the tags on it. It is, let's see if I can get up a bit. It is one of these, these folding travel bags. It's got a uh, zipper here, and it unfolds. It's got two zipper pockets up front here, and it zips down. And I think I paid like $5 for this. And again, you know, you got to take my senior's discount. So I take my senior's discount in any way that I can. But um, so everything here absolutely has a purpose. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. My herb series starts tomorrow, but I just wanted to touch bases with you guys and share a little bit of what I found at Dollar Tree, Goodwill, and a little bit of Walmart too, a little bit. I hope you guys uh, join me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay warm. Stay happy. With that, I'm going to say merry part, and I hope, I hope to merry meet again. Goodbye, guys.